So we're going to look at this video that's from Twitter. Recommendation, by the way, if you want to recommend a particular video, send it to me via Twitter. That's the best way. Don't send the link down in the video. Sometimes I cannot click links. Let's hear what this, what's going on. I can't give an intro because I don't know what the video is about. <laughs> Young ladies are having heartbreaks. Some of them have been affected and impacted mentally because a young man will pick a lady and then carry her and say, we're going to, let's get to know ourselves and all that, blah, blah, blah. Promise her marriage. After a while, he will dump her and then the lady will have heartbreaks. We see a lot of things going wrong. Now, let me tell you something. Pastors who are subscribing for dating you've given all kinds of teachings about dating you've written books let me tell you you can never see any place in the bible where the bible said we should date and the bible scriptures never implied that that is something borrowed from the world and it is not good listen let me tell you when you date you get dating dating is simply a game that when you date you get dirty that is played by unbelievers you see, can I tell you something about dating again? You see, when you when you date, because it is a game. Every so dating is a game. Ah, uh, okay. Body pretends, the lady pretends, the young man pretends. You put you put in you put in your best, but you know what? When you get married, you have to. You, that's when you know the person. Yeah, but if a person is acting very quickly, it drops off, and then the the real personality really comes in. And so uh, the act quickly drops off. If a person is acting godly, very quickly their flesh <laughs> starts to make itself known. Let's not dump the, the baby uh, with the bath water as, as, as they like to say. Dating is good. Dating is good in the sense that uh, it allows people to get to know each other. The thing is, uh, when people think dating, they're thinking the wrong thing. I'll give you an example. My last relationship, the last uh, lady I dated, we never kissed, we never, the relationship didn't have none of that physical stuff. Because we are very clear what the, what the relationship is there for. And so you can keep it godly and it can be for people you know, getting to know each other. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I had a relationship like that. I've had relationships like that. If it doesn't go well, it's because the people themselves, they are not, what? It's just that. And so you can't discourage it because... You did the wrong type of dating, okay? You, you, because you, you were there busy mingling around the wrong way. You know, <laughs> when I got married, do you know that two years after I got married, I was still learning my wife. I was still getting to learn, know some things about her. So you see, you can't, you can't know a man by dating him for, for, for five months. You can't know a woman. Of course, five, five months. But you can't put a formula on it either by dating her for for two even two years you know you see people that stay no in two years you pretty much know them let's be realistic here in two years you know them in a relationship for two years five years six years that that is crazy that is you can't do such things as christians listen let me tell you any pastor that is telling you to date is wrong you can find that in the scriptures but how do you get married a young man when it's time for you to get married what do you do Go to the Holy Spirit. The Bible said in the book of Romans, it said, Those who are led by the Spirit of God are the sons of God. Do you know? The Holy Spirit is the one that guides us into all truth. That's what Jesus said. So you see. Ah, okay. Now this is where I differ. <laughs> I just differ just a little bit. Now bear in mind, I'm not saying he's wrong. I'm saying he's applying the wrong thing to the <laughs> to he's applying the wrong thing. To something that should be rightly. The Bible says he that finds. He doesn't say how. He says he that finds. A good. And virtuous woman. And then he tells you the, the qualities. Why will he tell you the qualities in Proverbs. And then. Guys. <laughs> you know, you know, you know these formula things. You know, the same way they they write books about you know three steps to success, three steps to they now have steps to a to a healthy relationship. The Bible says, "He that finds, I might find her by spotting her character." As Proverbs put it, he created the man, he created a woman. He knows every man, he knows every woman. Can I tell you something? If God knows every man and every woman on earth, then if you go to God. He will tell you the best person to marry. Okay. Now, 
I want to just be very clear. I'm not saying if you pray about a particular individual, you will not, you will not find an answer. Maybe you might find an answer. Fine. But don't make that a formula. There's a reason why in Proverbs it says he that finds. There's a reason. Okay? And so now he is adopting one, but then he is abandoning the other ones. He that finds. It means that he's able to use his perception. He's able to see that this one is going to lead me to other routes which are not the right way and so forth. And so this is where this mechanical Christianity or legalism is being brought into church unawares. This is legalism. Because he said, no, any pastor that's, that's, that's discouraging. So, okay, now fine, you have told us how, how to find, the, then what must happen? They just get married. <laughs> so, guys, please, stop legalism. Stop legalism, how? Don't make a formula out of things that are not a formula. The, the Bible is very clear about this subject. Okay? Very, very clear about the subject. Um, the, the picture of, I think it's Jacob, the one who labored for his wife seven years. You know, the, the moment he met her right there, he knew this is the woman that he wanted to marry. And he went on to labor for her for seven years. He didn't get here in seven years. So what does he do? He labors another seven years. And so is that the only formula? No. There are others where in the Bible, he's trying to... Hey, Jesus. <laughs> Don't put a formula on people's lives, okay? And so, uh, to, to make it clear, Proverbs would disagree with him. But in another way, he is not wrong. Like if he said, okay, is it then that they must pray? Then the Holy Spirit will guide them. Or is it that uh, the answer is yes? Just like, okay, why say yes? Isn't it one or the other? No, both are right. He, 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 he may be right to say, Pray about it. Yes, you may be right. But then there is the Proverbs. You are dismissing one. And why are you dismissing one? You are dismissing one because you are not, you are not applying uh, this principle of trying to find a wife to the whole context. And uh, unfortunately, this bends the rules for others while it applies them for others. You can't put a formula on things like that. You want to be careful about that. And so uh, you might take the formula. And you'll be praying forever while you are seeing and perceiving these things that the person is not the right person. And then because your feelings are in and what you are seeing, you don't want it to be true. Boom. You dismiss the wisdom aspect or the part where you are seeing and you just don't want, you get what I mean. It's Ricky's the Rich Reality Show. We do daily Christian commentary videos. You'll find other videos down in the pinned comments. Uh, do it the right way. Don't, don't, don't just legalize everything because you, you found your wife through prayer. You think some of, some people are not some people are not prayerful. Oh. <laughs>